Now in sequence and series, we have this one shortcut, which is very handy when it comes to problems involving terms common to the two or more given arithmetic progressions. So we'll be given two APs. Suppose we have this first AP, which is characterized by A1, A1 plus D1 and so on. And we have this second AP, which is A2, A2 plus D2, A2 plus 2D2. Then the terms which are common to both the APs, they'll also form an AP whose common difference is given by LCM of D1, D2. So the terms which are common to both the APs, they'll also form an AP and that common difference will be LCM of common difference of the two given APs. And by observation or by using initial few values, we can calculate this A, which is first common term. And once we have first common term and common difference, then we can solve whatever is desired in the given question. So let us take one example. Now here the question is the 10th common term between the two series. So we are given two series. First series is 3 plus 7 plus 11. It is an AP and in this AP common difference is 4. And then we have this second AP which is 1, 6, 11. So it is also an AP and its common difference is given by 5. Now the terms which are common to both the series, they'll form an AP whose common difference will be given by LCM of D1, D2. So it'll be LCM of 5 and 4 and LCM of 5 and 4 is 20. And from observation, we know that its first common term is 11. So we have first common term and we also have its common difference we need 10th common term. So the 10th common term between the two series will be 10th term of this AP, which is A plus N minus one into D. So this is 180 plus 11 and that'll be 191. And that's your option A. Let us take another example. And this question, it says the largest term common to these two sequences both they are an AP containing 100 terms. So this first AP, it is 1, 11, 21, 31 up to 100 terms. So that's your first AP. And then our second AP is 31, 36, 41, 46 up to 100 terms. Now, terms common to both the series 31 41 they'll also form an AP whose common difference is LCMO common difference of the two APs now common difference of first AP is 10 and common difference of second AP is 5 so we need to find LCM of 10 and 5 so it'll be 10 here in this case value of d is 10 and again just by observation we know that first common term is 31 so this ap of common terms will have first term is 31 and common difference is 10 now its general term tn will be given by a plus n minus 1 into d so it will be 31 plus n minus 1 into 10 now we need largest term common to the sequence. Now largest term common to the sequence will be less than or equal to minimum of last term of the two sequences. Now basically minimum of the two sequences will be in this second series. So this Tn, it should be 
less than or equal to last term of this second sequence and which is 31 plus 100 minus 1 into d which is 5. So this 31 will cancel. So we will get n minus 1 into 10 will be less than or equal to 99 into 5. Or this n will be less than or equal to 50.5 so the highest value of n in this case will be 50 so the largest term which is common to both the series will be 31 plus 50 minus 1 into d so this is 31 plus 490 which is 521 and that's your option B. Now let us take another example and this question was asked in J advanced 2019 and the question was we are given three APs. So we have this first AP whose first term is 1 and common difference 3. Then we have this second AP whose first term is 2, common difference 5 and then we are given this third AP whose first term is 3 and common difference is 7. It says we need to find intersection of these three APs. Basically we need to find terms which are common to the three APs. So terms which are common to all the three arithmetic progressions and we already know that terms which are common to APs will also form an AP and in this case we need to find the value of A and D where A is first common term and D is their common difference. Now D is simple. Common difference of the common terms of the three series is basically LCM of common difference of three APs. So, it will be LCM of 3, 5 and 7. Now, we know that LCM of 3, 5 and 7 will be 1, 0, 5. So, common difference of this AP of common terms will be 105. Now, we need to find A which is first common term. Now, what we will do is in order to find A, we we'll look at general terms of these three APs. Now general term of this first AP we can write this as 1 plus n minus 1 into 3 or we can simply write this as 1 plus 3P and since we need common terms it should be equal to general term of this second AP which is 2 plus 5Q and it should be equal to general term of this third AP which is 3 plus 7R. Now what we will do is first we will find terms which are common to these two series. Now for these two series we can write Q equals 1 plus 7R upon 5. Now what we will do is we will put the value of R and we will find the smallest value of r for which this q it is an integer. If we put r as 1 it is not an integer but if we put r as 2 we will get q as 3. Now this is 15 plus 2 17. So first common term of these two APs it is 17. Now we know that common difference of these two series are 5 and 7. So common difference of terms which are common to these two series will have common difference which is LCM of 5 and 7 which is 35. So the terms which are common to these two series they are 17 and then 17 plus 35 52 52 plus 35 
87. Now we need that term which is of the form 1 plus 3p. That means from these numbers, we have to find that first number which when divided by 3 leaves the remainder 1. Now when 17 is divided by 3, it leaves the remainder 2. So 17 is not our common term. If we look at 52, now we know that 17 into 3 is 51 and plus 1. So basically this 52 is 17 into 3 plus 1. So this is our first term which is common to all the three APs. So that means value of A is 52. Now we have A and we have D. We need to find the value of A plus D. So A plus D will be 105 plus 52 and it will be simply 157 which is the answer to this question.